Hey, welcome to video number 185 of Walker This Way with Hazel Walker, the queen of all things. BNI and networking. I am Mark Simmons. How are you doing today, Hazel Walker? I am doing well. I just had my franchise review this morning and it went well and I, I enjoyed it. Perfect. So you had a review. So did they ask you questions in the review? She asked me a lot of questions and, and because she asked me a lot of questions, it made me think about some things, right? So we yeah. were able to get a lot of stuff done. Oh, that's great. You know, we, we were talking and uh, kind of reminding of early on when we started doing these Walker This Way videos, I had a few people at the time, going back 180-ish videos ago, kind of send a message and say, hey, Mark, here's what you need to do on your video. Here's what you need to stand, or you need the sound, or you need to, this should be done, or that should be done. And I'm like, okay. Um, but nobody ever asked me, he reached out to me at least, said, so what's the intention of your video? Because I could have clarified a lot how they just asked that in the first place. Right. Un unsolicited opinions based on assumptions. Right. Yeah. And we know this is coming up a lot lately in a lot of places. Yeah, I just uh, I just had an issue with it with a, a director consultant, a, a, a leadership team member asked a director, a chapter consultant, hey, blah, 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 whatever the question was. And he correctly answered the question based on the question. Right. But not based on the information that was behind the question. Mm -hmm. Right. And that is the problem. So when someone ever asks me a question, um, I will always, almost always frame a next question. I'll answer the question with a question. And the question usually is, that is an interesting question. Or that is a good question. What is driving the question? What's yeah. behind the question? What, what's, what are you looking to get? Same with opinions. If someone wants to give me an unsolicited opinion, I will say to them, why are you giving me this opinion? Mm -hmm. What's your intention? Yeah. Because well, I, I didn't ask for it. Right. So why are you giving it? And sometimes they're just giving it to show themselves off and whatever. But I also know, Mark, if, when, when I'm having a conversation with someone, I really enjoy having conversations with someone that's asking me lots of questions, mm -hmm. right? Because it expands the conversation, or I will ask a lot of questions. The rule of thumb is he who's asking the questions controls the conversation. Right. Right. So I always say, talk less, ask more. Mm -hmm. And my, my business coach, my sales coach taught me that he goes, if you can say it, you can ask it. You can turn every statement into a question. And when you turn it into a question, then you're asking for feedback from that person and you will learn so much that you didn't expect. Yeah. Right. I know one of your great questions to questions is here's the line quote, that's a great question. Why do you ask? Yeah, I did. Yeah. I learned that from my children, though, because yeah. sometimes they would ask me questions and I would start to give them an answer and they would just look at me like. It's not what they were looking for. Right. right. Yeah. They just wanted to they was asking a question about a penguin and I go into the whole story about a penguin when all they really wanted to know is what color is the penguin yeah black and white <laughs> so you know in 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 seriousness the the thing about the unsolicited advice the not asking questions making these assumptions without asking the questions is they could be kind of damaging i think in a credibility way mm -hmm. they absolutely can you know i know i'm in a situation fairly recently where I was offered some unsolicited, ne really negative kind of advice. And I'm like, I don't know if I really want to talk to this person anymore, these people anymore now because of it, you know, it's, it's, and so um, it's being conscious of the words and whatever. So one of the things that I know that we talk about is um, especially when we talk about having, holding one-to-ones, having one-to-ones is curiosity is key. Yeah. Right. Curiosity is key and asking questions is key and keep asking questions, keep asking questions. And if you want a relationship to be strong, one of the key aspects, even in a marriage, these always be curious. 
Yeah. Be ABC, curious. always be curious. ABC. Always be curious. Yeah. About everything and everyone. Ask questions. You can't be curious if you're always telling. Right. And typically, I find that people who want to tell you everything, it's because they want to be seen as important right. or the most important person or the most informed person in the room, right? right. Yeah. Because they're always telling you versus just asking you a few good questions and pulling good information out of you. They just want to tell. But that's, you're, you're basing what you're telling on assumptions. Yeah. And that's never a good thing, right? No. That's never, ever a good thing. Yeah, and I know there's there's probably you know it's hard to do in the moment, but there's a great moment, a great opportunity for a self check in the moment. Am I asking this question or making this comment because I need you to know how smart I am, or am I asking this because I'm really curious? And am I curious because then I'm going to come back and go, well, here's how smart I am, or do I just really want to learn more about you? Right, right. So if you're going to make a comment about how I'm dressed or how I'm wearing my hair or whatever. Uh, ask me, right. Hey, I noticed you've changed your hair. What prompted that? Hey, I noticed you, um, you're wearing dark clothes lately. I may not have even known that, but if you just go, wow, you're always in dark clothes and you should dress up. Well, I should not do anything right to this outcome. But if you say, I've noticed you're all, you're wearing a lot of dark clothes lately. What's up? What, what, what have you changed? You've changed your style. You've changed. Right. So if if you're being curious about me, you're asking me questions, then I'm happy to get your feedback because I may not have realized that was I remember one time someone saying all the time she would say, I'm too busy. I'm too busy. I'm too busy. I'm too busy. And I remember sitting down having a conversation with her and saying, are you really happy to be on our team? Are you really committed to being on the team? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, so are you aware that you use the terminology, I'm too busy every time anyone asks you to do anything? Mm -hmm. She was not aware. She was not aware that it was just a bad habit she'd gotten into. She doesn't do it anymore, right? But it was because I pulled that information from her as a question, she didn't take it as an offense. Yeah. And that's what, that's both in BNI, out of BNI. If you want. If you want to have great conversations at a networking event, just ask people, ask them questions. Mm -hmm. Hey, so what, because when I do that, people go, it's so great to have a conversation with you. Yeah, because I didn't talk about myself. I just kept asking you questions. You have to talk about yourself. Yeah. The most important person is the person in front of you. Absolutely. Yeah. I know early on in the, when we do the videos, my, my dad had called me and he made a comment. And he said, you know, I noticed a lot, Mark, that when you're doing your videos, you're always sort of moving in the camera and moving away and you move around a lot. So he wasn't, I I think it was more of a question. I said, yeah, well, that was by design, right? Because it's, it's, otherwise, if you sit still, it becomes a really boring video, right? Right. I move around on purpose and for impact. Yeah, exactly. People are giving up with you. Yeah. But then then there's other times where, where people just throw a, here's what you should do. And I'm, Oh, just ask me first. It's by design. Yeah, it's by design. Ask, ask what, what is your intention for this? Yeah. What are you so, deciding? Yeah. So ask first, ask questions first before you make statements. Right. Right. And uh, yeah, and I think that's where we're pointing people today is really get curious about A, why you're asking the question and uh, ask the questions. What was your intention is this? What's your purpose? Are you, whatever it is rather than going, here's what you need to do as the first lead in statement. You know, I think I'm going to be honest. I think we learned that from our parents, because if you ever notice, parents are always telling. True. Parents are always telling you, you should do this. You should do this. It's always telling. Yeah. And uh, it was one of the things I learned from my kids is just ask them. So what is it about your homework? You don't like, mm-hmm. why don't you want to do it? And sometimes it was just because they were stuck on a problem and couldn't figure it out. And so they were just, didn't want to do it yeah right so i think even if you're a parent asking more questions will get you so much further right so you know there's that commercial was it for dozeki the the most interesting person in the world this is be be the most inquisitive person in the world the most curious person in the world be that person be that person all right well done till next time hazel see you then bye